From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Doug McKelway. Well, you know, staying on your feet in this economy is just getting tougher by the day, it seems. Yeah, everybody's heard about it. It's either pay, benefit, even job cuts. What do you do when you think you've reached the end of your rope? Executive coach Gene Stafford is here now to help us when the bottom drops out. And Gene, thank you so much for joining us. I guess when the, when the bottom drops out <laughs> in this day and age, it means a lot, you've lost your job. That's about <laughs> well, it worst. can. It can. And arguably, we're in a revolution, right? Um, and revolution always creates uh, new opportunities for people. Certainly, there's challenges and there are um, uh, 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 fears that come to the surface when we're in a revolution. But new opportunities offer themselves as well. And of course, my work is focused on professional women, helping professional women develop their leadership potential. And I, I uh, see and I uh, experience often uh, new opportunities for women opening up when in a revolution the old way of doing things doesn't seem to be working and so people are looking for new ways, new solutions uh, or, and organizations of course are looking for people who act like they know what they're doing and so it's a perfect time to step up and make suggestions. So your business must be doing well with people changing jobs, very well, certainly. looking for help. What's the biggest question people have for you right well, you now? Know, that's a good. Uh, that's a very good question. And typically, my clients, Natasha, come to me saying things like, um, "You know, I'm doing what I want to do professionally, or I've already done what I want to do professionally, but I'm looking around and thinking, you got to be kidding. This is it." They feel like what's important to them gets lost in what they have to do every day because there's a lot of competition for their time. Mm -hmm. And they know they can be more successful than they are, but something's in the way and they'd like to figure out what that is. And by the way, this won't take long, right, they say, because, of course, they don't have a lot of time. Right. <laughs> Everybody's rushing around. That's right. So, so does that, are you talking about family in that case? Are women looking at the right way to balance that with their families? Sometimes balance is the mm -hmm. issue. Uh, but more importantly, women are looking for... Um, a satisfying work experience. Professional women are looking for a satisfying experience and women have a different work experience than men mm -hmm. do. So is the advice that you would offer them is different than the advice you would offer a man? Not necessarily, but I will say that women tend to take that advice and apply it somewhat differently. So for example, uh, very often when a woman comes to me and says, you know, I know I can be more successful than I am, but something's in the way. One of my first questions to her will be, well, what do you want? You have to know what you want. But can you get what you want in this economy right now when everybody's losing their jobs? I would argue that you can. You can really? come a lot closer. And, and the reason I argue that is because very often when I ask that question, people have a tough time answering it. Um, uh, and, and it's not something that we spend a lot of time with. So uh, uh, typically answers will be rather vague to begin with. And um, my work with my clients very often starts with sitting down and getting as clear as we can about what it is that you're trying to accomplish from your professional experience. It's important to cast yourself into the future and look in the rearview mirror and decide what do I want my legacy to be? What do I want to take out of this professional experience? What do I want to leave when it's all over with? You know, a friend of mine who uh, had a very high paying, prestigious job uh, described that job as the golden handcuffs that he couldn't he couldn't untie them he couldn't unlatch them so until the decision was made for him and he was he was fired but then it, it opened up a whole new world of opportunities for him and I think you make a very good point because after a while my clients will say the money isn't enough the money is very nice and a lot of my clients make a lot of money but after a while it's more important to them that their work become more meaningful and very often they will say I want I want to make a difference if they're getting getting something out of it it's so another question will be well tell me what what you know about the difference that you want to make. Now, what if someone came to you, and I'm sure they probably have now, maybe they lost their job like Doug's friend and they've, they're seeing life differently, like now's my time mm -hmm. to do what I want. Is this the right time to switch careers though? Can certainly be. Um, uh, certainly if you have uh, uh, the wolf at the door and money is really the issue, you're going to take whatever you need to take to right. bring the money in. That's the practical side of things. But I think at the very same time you can be moving yourself in the direction of something that you really want to be doing understanding of course that you know what it is we've well, heard so many doing. people go back to school people that have been um, sure. you know different kinds of majors they didn't think we're doing well right now have mm -hmm. moved into the medical field because you always need nurses and doctors and things like that mm -hmm. um, is there a pool for that with the people you're seeing? There's, there, retooling is always an option and of course the, the uh, experts will tell us that in, in our lifetime 
we're going to be working a long time. Those of us who are baby boomers and younger, we're going to be working a long time. Uh, we might expect to have as many as five different careers. So retooling is always an option. But, uh, but I will say, especially if you're concerned about uh, uh, just having a paycheck, you may not have time for that kind of thing. And education is not necessarily the, the silver bullet, simply because an education has a very short shelf mm -hmm. life. Gene, what, how do you counsel people uh, who come to you ha who have lost their job and they're devastated by it? So many people in our contemporary mm -hmm. so society, especially I, I think men traditionally have done this, they identify oh, yes. themselves with their employment and when they lose that they've lost their no identities. No job, no worth kind of We thing. are what we do in America, do you, aren't we? How, how do you counsel people in that? Of course, Ameri that? Europeans have a much better approach really? to all of that. And more vacation time. Now. Yes, <laughs> and four-day work weeks. Yeah, what's with that? <laughs> we got to move, forget this. <laughs> you know, it brings to mind a, a client that I worked with very, very recently recently who lost her job unexpectedly and she and her initial response was feeling devastated by it because of course it, her view initially was it was someone else's opinion that she was no longer valuable in that position and after having a conversation with her what she was able to remember was she took that job for very specific reasons there were two things she wanted to accomplish and we reviewed what those two things were she had accomplished those things so that so the bottom line was it really was time for her to move on anyway and well, they, she let somebody else make the decision first, but understanding that the timing was right for her to move on then gave her a new outlook, and of course, attitude is everything. Gene Stafford, we're out of time, but uh, I don't know if you can take on any more clients these days, but why don't you tell us uh, where people can reach you? Very good. My email address is gene at genestafford.com, and my website is genestafford.com. Okay. Gene, thanks. thanks.